So I think that what you're asking me about is kind of looking at Comscore's core measurement services, whether it be digital, television, or cross-platform, but then how we bring in third-party providers to help kind of uh, layer in some qualitative information about the data that we provide. So Affinity Solutions is one of those data sets that we're very interested in as because the marketplace is interested in. Um, they have unique data that comes from credit and debit card, but I think that that's, that intelligence that they provide is highly valuable to the market, but you have to really work with the measurement providers to make sure that the identity spine that you connect that to is usable across all the platforms. And that's kind of Comscore's unique offering in the marketplace where we have the ability to do the one-to-one -one match in a privacy uh, compliant manner and a privacy preserving manner, which is really kind of stating that we're a privacy first company. But we want to make sure that that identity of the uh, affinity uh, targets or any other third party data set that we work with can, can scale from television to digital to cross platform. So Carol, we've been speaking about measurement for a number of years. Uh, what's exciting to you right now in terms of where we are and sort of what's ahead for 2023? Well, I think the marketplace has finally caught up to Comscore, which is really great. And I mean that, I say that kind of jokingly, but I mean that in Comscore launched its television product as Rentrack in 2010. And we were the first measurement service to offer an advanced audience, meaning we took the Polk Automotive uh, data set, the uh, political ta targets, and married that to the television measurement to provide these advanced audiences, which is an alternative to age and gender currencies. So what I'm excited about is here in 2023, we have four new currencies in the marketplace, which includes Nielsen One, that really are bringing different measurement options to the marketplace. And so I do say that they've caught up with what uh, work that we started, and we're very proud. We think that we've been here for a decade. We've been vetted. Um, we've been um, kind of anointed with WBD. We're excited about that going into the upfront. And we're looking to the next decade of measurement. That's great. Talk, talk a little bit more about your work with the networks and how that's developing and, and your role that you're playing. Yeah, so um, like I, I, again, started the work that I do with the networks back in 2010 when we launched our television service. We took our video on demand offering and then parlayed that into television measurement. And I think one of the unique offerings that Comscore brings to the marketplace is that we have focused on the content. And when I say content, it's the programming. I think sometimes people get a little confused with content and ads, but it's not an easy process to make sure in this day and age when a consumer can watch a television program across various different platforms that you can marry all of the metadata together on those various platforms to bring them together and give a true measurement of the viewing consumption for that piece of content.